Hello everyone, my name is Megan. And I'm Jessie. Oh, Jessie, you sound very unhappy. What's wrong? See this half of the sandwich? Yes. This is my favorite sandwich and it was supposed to be a whole sandwich, but my dad divided it between me and my little brother. Oh, I'm sorry you're upset, Jessie, but you still have half of your favorite sandwich to eat, so that's good. Uh, what kind of sandwich is it? Almond butter and sauerkraut. Now do you see why I'm so upset? I only get to eat half of this delicious sandwich? Uh, well, you enjoy that half a sandwich while I tell today's Bible story. Something was divided in today's Bible story too, but it wasn't a sandwich. It was a kingdom, the kingdom of Israel. Listen to what happened. King Solomon was the richest and wisest king on earth. He loved God, but he disobeyed God by marrying women from other nations. King Solomon's wives led him to worship false gods. He built altars on the hill outside the city. When Solomon worshiped false gods, some of the Israelites decided to worship false gods too. This made God angry. God said to Solomon, since you have done this, I will take away the kingdom from you. You will be king the rest of your life, but when your son becomes king, he will only be king over one tribe. And that is what happened. Solomon had a servant named Jeroboam. One day, Jeroboam was walking down the road when he met a prophet. The prophet took off his coat and tore it into 12 pieces. The prophet gave Jeroboam 10 of the pieces. He said, God is going to take the kingdom away from Solomon. God will let Solomon and his family keep a small part, but you will get the bigger part, 10 tribes. God was going to punish King David's family for not loving and obeying him but their punishment would not last forever. When Solomon died, his son Rehoboam became king. The people did not want to serve a king like Rehoboam. He was very mean to them. So they made Jeroboam king. Now the kingdom of Israel was divided. Jeroboam ruled over the northern kingdom of Israel. Solomon's son only ruled over the southern kingdom of Judah. Solomon sinned and Israel was divided into two kingdoms. God's people needed a perfect king. God would send his own son, Jesus, to be king. Jesus is better than Solomon. Jesus is a perfect king who brings God's people together.